Yeah, you got that's, lots that's, of good. That's, that's you crashing. <laughs> okay, yeah, bye, bye. Hi, I'm Sana, and this is my client Robert, and this is KMS Beyond Hair. On Robert's hair today, we're going to be removing the bulk through the sides while leaving most of the length on top. This will create a shape that won't be quite as wide, and it will look good no matter how he chooses to style it. Now, you asked me at one point to be on your podcast, but then you never, like, said anything about it again. Oh, what would you want to talk about? So it's about creativity and keeping your mind open. I grew up in a hair salon, so I definitely know there's some creative vibes going on in there. Like a bartender, I know that a lot of talk happens. <laughs> there's vulnerabilities that people fall into that are, you know, they don't like the way their hair looks. I mean, I'm not a fan of my receding hair <laughs> and having them all pulled back, although that's yeah. the way I, I see myself. It. Yeah, I pull it back anyway. A lot of people don't like the way they look when they might get their hair highlighted or full of tins or they're underneath a, <laughs> you know, like a blow dryer or whatever. And then as they work through that self-consciousness, they probably start to fall into comfort and talk to you about oh yeah a People tell lot us all of kinds things. of things oh yeah well you grew up in you said you grew up in a hair yeah, salon yeah, I grew up your, your mom uh was she yeah a my stylist? mom yeah my mom had a, a salon and i used to go there before and after high school and then i learned the power of that vulnerability pretty young like some of the snobbiest girls in my high school would come and get facials okay and they wouldn't say anything to me on the way in because their face has just been cleaned oh, and their yeah. face is no swollen, makeup. there's no makeup. Yeah, okay. I'd say, hey, do you want to hang out back here? You know, until your until your ride shows up, and I would show them compassion, and I'd make friends. Who was your most recent guest on your podcast? Doctor Zeta. Doctor okay. Zeta is a uh, sex therapist, like a leading oh. sex therapist here in town. She okay. specializes in kink. And um, I'll bet that was an interesting conversation. Yeah, especially when I, I didn't even know it. I'm like, well, what does that mean, doctor? <laughs> <laughs> and so she, she had to explain what that meant. And most recently, she came in and uh, we were talking about flirting. What is good and maybe bad about it? Or perhaps maybe it was more toward safely flirting. I'm out of practice. <laughs> and, <laughs> And uh, she just kind of talked about like, basically, and it all came down to what people are comfortable with, just what might feel good without stepping on people's boundaries. Are you still welding and doing all your different art? Yep. So are you working on anything big right now? I'm going to do a totem pole. A, a totem pole? A totem pole, yeah. Where, so where is the a, totem pole going to go? It's a 16 foot totem pole and it's gonna go on their property. Will it be kind of traditional totem pole or is it going to be at, Robert, like interesting totem pole? So at, at first I made it, cause these guys are fun. I made a cartoony, I mean, I drew him like a cartoon one uh -huh. of a real cartoon. He's like, no. So we, then we pushed it. <laughs> then I showed him, I go, well, look what traditional ones look like. I realized, you know, it, what is a totem? A totem is just a, an appreciation okay. of, different things and so they wanted to appreciate the things that were on their property like oh. they see a lot of moose uh they've seen bear fish because they're on the river so we weren't trying to we're not trying to copy anything i have questions okay what is it like to not have a boat do you really want to ask that? Because it's a sore subject. Oh. It sank. That's what happened to my boat. <laughs> yeah, it's your, yours. I've never heard of anybody having a boat sink. Yeah, well, it was too much water, too much water pressure for the pipes of the boat. And so the pipes exploded. That was fresh water that sank your boat? Yeah. <sighs> wasn't yeah. even a hole in the no, boat. No, no, it wasn't. <laughs> yeah. But thanks for asking about my boat. Yes, I miss it. <laughs> So I didn't get your hair completely dry, but I'm going to go ahead and throw just a little bit more of the curl cream in it. So you can put it on wet or dry? Yeah, yeah, it can go wet or dry. And it just enhances the curl, bundles the curls together. So you can see how that kind of is yeah. kind of chunky curls instead of like fluffy it. flyaway curls. I 
hope you enjoyed my conversation with Robert. I know that I did. Now to check out more content like this, head over to the KMS Pro YouTube channel.